leaders in the war on drugs in the city of Chattanooga called them some of the most dangerous offenders on the streets. And today, we are learning more about their past. Federal agents rounded up 32 suspects in Chattanooga yesterday as the result of a four-year-long investigation. The suspects relating to selling drugs. Tonight, as we dig deeper, we discover one of those suspects has been, been in the news before, but for a totally different reason. News Channel Line's Jerry Askin joins us now with more on that. Jerry? That's right, Calvin Latricia. Authorities deem all these men as the most violent offenders in our area, but there's one alleged offender who you may recall a hero. 20-year-old Jamoke Johnson has a lengthy rap sheet and has been charged with a number of drug and assault charges. But you may recall he was being heralded as a hero for trying to save a baby from a burning home back in April. We run over there to help, and we get to the back door. I seen a baby in the back door, like, standing in the back door. I kicked the, kicked the screen out. Then a baby, like, he was screaming, though, but I can never get, get the back door open. And because of the Yeah, because of the security bars on the door. That was then. Today, this so-called hero finds himself in the drug raid. Jamoki's grandfather wouldn't talk to us on camera today, but told us Jamoki has had his fair share of run-ins with law enforcement since he was 11 years old. But for time was turning things around after receiving a college scholarship to Miles College in Alabama. This week, he was one of 32 men that federal, state, and local authorities say are violent offenders, many who are no strangers to the law. These are not first-time felons. These are people who are involved, and that's why I'm excited to get them off the street. Mayor Andy Burke says this is a multi-sting operation where repeat offenders are their target. Either they get out of a bad lifestyle or they choose to, to continue doing that, to continue committing crimes. If they commit violence in our society, they're going to be punished for it. Executive Assistant District Attorney Neil Pinkston applauds law enforcement for working together to get these guys off our streets. It's always good to see, uh, you know, hard work and uh, detectives and agents and all the work that people don't see that they do uh, uh, culminate in, in uh, success in that regard. So, yeah, that's a good thing. And from scholar to alleged to drug henpin, Jamoki Johnson will likely face a huge sentence if convicted. Latricia. Jerry, thank you.